Parents have so much on their plates, checking an 11-year-old's credit report likely won't top the to-do list. But after investigators arrested eight people, including a Buffalo firefighter, on charges of using the personal information of children for a line of credit, some parents are on edge. I have not seen it with children. Um, and it's amazing if they got anywhere with that. How did this even happen? I don't know what creditor would grant credit to an eight-year-old. I mean, you would think that they would need some verification that of their age. Experts say criminal activity is getting more innovative. They can then, you know, couple their social security number with maybe somebody else's date of birth that is an adult. So then they can open up credit cards, open up other accounts. Not catching this early can have long standing ramifications for children who usually only find out when they're opening a credit card or applying for student loans. They open this line of credit, they borrow money, they default, they don't pay it. And then they sue the child and get a judgment against him or her which could last for 20 years, be enforceable for 20 years. There's not a lot you can do to prevent your kids from being targets, except keep a close watch. If your child does fall victim, it'll be an uphill battle to settle the issue with credit bureaus. It could take a while. I mean, you're dealing with a huge bureaucracy, you know, at a credit card company, but um, I think you just have to be persistent. And if they won't remedy it, then you can sue under the Fair Credit Reporting Act for false re reporting of debt. And the Better Business Bureau also is warning parents to keep an eye on children who are gaming online. Make sure they know not to answer questions about their address, phone number, or parents' maiden names. If you start getting collection calls for your child, that is a red flag. You need to look into it. In studio tonight, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.